Grand Isle is the only inhabitable barrier island on the coast of Louisiana, and its history is as rich and diversified as any place in the state. A long time ago, Native American tribes like the Chittimacha Nation or the Homas Nations used to gather up acorns in the Bayou Lafourche region, and then they come to Grand Isle to hunt game, deer and wild birds. But as they walked, the acorns would fall out of their satchel and embedded into the dirt. Now, a bunch of years later, they sprouted these massive oak trees that would grab the soil and hold it together to eventually make life suitable for settlers here. Now, the first land grants were from the Spanish in the 1780s, and soon after, citrus and sugar plantations popped up along the island. Grand Isle was also a hub of pirate activity. Now, when the United States issued a checkpoint at the mouth of the Mississippi River to intercept illegal contraband getting to New Orleans, these pirates used to smuggle their goods onto the island to be loaded onto smaller boats so they can go up by Lafourche and access New Orleans from the marsh. Now, that means that all kind of cargo existed on the island at one point. Hippos, leopards, Aztec relics, uh, merchants from all over the globe, you name it, all walked through the piers of Grand Isle Harbor. Now, today it's known more of a fishing getaway, but Grand Isle's in a position right now to really capitalize on these future industries coming up and really be a leader for the years to come. This Quick History episode has been brought to you by Artie's Sports Bar on Grand Isle, Louisiana.